do. And indeed, the Lord showed me what to do. He said in my mind that, send your husband, get your barley. I don't understand why. Because the Lord can tell me, go ask for pain medicine and get it over with. <laughs> but the Lord said in my mind, go tell your husband, get your barley. And I asked my husband, please go home and get my barley. He came back because we are just 10 minutes away from the hospital. He came back and I told him, please make me a barley. Double my dose. I normally take one sachet only and one drinking. I told them, go make it two sachet. And I've been taking it more than what I used to. I kid you not. Not even 30 minutes after I took that amazing barley. My pain is up. Totally is up. And I was able to stand up for the first time after my surgery, able to walk to the bathroom with the help of my husband because he has to carry my canister for my chest tube. I was not able to move my bowel yet because I wasn't eating for two days. But I know I'm getting better. And at that moment, I was, I was watching too on the, our Sunday service in our church. And I'm so blessed that I have a wonderful church that very supportive. They pray for me. As soon as I heard them praying and then the prayer was done, my pain totally went away. And I know it was God given the power and the barley that heals me. <sighs> but anyway, um, after that, the doctor came back and telling me the plan and said the cardiothoracic people that um uh, the monday the monday morning now because that was sunday it happens when i was able to walk and everything and eat and everything monday morning they came and telling me the plan and the doctor said the cardiothoracic people would say they will take a look of your lungs again if everything okay with no infection no drainage we will pull it out we will pull it out and you will go home and i pray again i said lord i have no doubt this is a done deal you will take this tube out right now and i'll go home and take my complete healing at home that's where you're gonna take place came back to me and the results said good news your lungs are cleared you have no drainage no infection and i cried and praised the lord for his goodness so i was discharged came home okay I was discharged and came home. And then Tuesday morning, because Monday I was discharged, Tuesday morning I woke up. I don't understand the feeling. It's totally different feeling. I feel like a new person. I told my husband, I feel so strong. I'm walking faster than I was. And I kid you not, I'm coughing, but I'm not hurting. A person who had a surgery, a wound, not even um, 24 hours that they removed my tube. I should have the pain in there. But I kid you not. I was coughing with that pain. Whew. And the most um, amazing that the Lord showed me. When the doctor said, rest assured that you have blood in your urine for a couple more days because of your surgery, but it will go away afterwards. But I'm telling you, even a drop of blood I did not see in that morning. And the Lord gave me his promise and said, I will restore your, I will restore your health and your wound that will heal, declares the Lord. That's in Jeremiah 30, 17. And the Lord was really so good in his promises. I know with the with the barley that he used as his representation to heal me. It really is amazing. So I, I praise him and I glorify him. Now I don't know what the Lord's plan for me for putting me in this organization. But I know it's by more on, for my own good. 
But I know the Lord is speaking to me that this is the kind of organization I have to be with. <laughs> because he promised me in Proverbs 19.21, <laughs> many are the plans in a person's heart, <laughs> but it's the Lord's purpose that prevails. I'm waiting for that purpose <laughs> and the promises of Lord to manifest and to come to pass. But I don't know what it is. I am just being obedient to God for what all he wants me to do. I know this company that I am worldwide is the Lord is being used to gain more souls. To draw people near back to God. I know this company is going to be the vessels to use and prepare the people for his return. <laughs> and I thank you. I thank God for putting me to this company where I know I belong. I thank you so much for you all, for your advocacy. I'm sorry. <laughs>